what's going on everybody welcome to episode four of our bottom of christmas challenge here with nard city and today we got a couple of games for you as well as a little bit of something else um we are getting toward the end of january but three games newcastle liverpool and wolves some tough games in there new uh, liverpool and wolves newcastle um tough but winnable and as you can see we are ahead of the relegation zone on goal difference and we'll have to see who else um is going to play down there. Southampton played Liverpool. We are four points back at Southampton, so it's a little bit of a gap. Crystal Palace are home to Sheffield, so if there is a result there, well, there will be. If we don't beat Newcastle, we're going to be in the relegation zone after today. Um, and then next, Crystal Palace go to Everton, which is tough. We play Liverpool, and then Sheffield play Bournemouth, which is winnable for them and then palace play newcastle winnable for them sheffield play brighton winnable for them and we play wolves so if things go wrong today we can be in a really bad spot but the window is about to close but we're going to try and bring one more player and someone who can play in steeperman's spot at cam um just as a backup or maybe a starter if it turns out being that way um, but we've got a couple of names on the list offer for tribal retracted and now we've got some other retractions coming and we'll take a look so the transfer hub we put three players on this list we'll go over to the transfers right now transfer hub here we go and the three players we did put on the list were uh bradley dak um aze i believe that's how you say his name or easy aze or easy from queen's park and then pritchard from huddersfield town aze i think is the option I want because he can also play out on the left um, Dak would be after that because um, he's probably the better player they want between 7 and 11 it's kind of a lot we don't have that kind of money 7 and 11 there for Bradley as well so maybe Pritchard is the option we're gonna try for Aze um, we don't necessarily have that money but we'll see if we can force them into it there if we can just try and sneak our way in there as you can see we don't have a ton of money here we're gonna offer around four and see what they say oh they just leave that's a bit harsh shame yeah we just don't have the money unfortunately i didn't think they'd be that expensive these guys here we're gonna try it with bradley as well but it looks like pritchard's gonna be the one we're gonna bring in we can't afford him um, so we'll have to see. We're only looking for a backup to Steeperman anyway. Offer transfer fee. We're going to offer five and see what they say. That that That's harsh. We're talking between seven and eleven and I'll offer five and they just book. That's a bit harsh. But Pritchard is going to be the one to come in by the looks of it. If we can agree a deal. Um, they want between two and three and a half. So we're just going to offer three and a half because we have that money at least. I'm disappointed Aze was so expensive. I didn't think he'd be that expensive. Um, but they're comfortable with that. And we are going to bring ourselves a backup in terms of Steeperman's position with Alex Pritchard, which is good. Rotation. He's comfortable with rotation. For your contract, comfortable. Disregard release clause. And salary. Just give him 30000 a week. That's no big deal. We have that money. And he's comfortable with it. So we have bought in the backup cam that we were looking for. It wasn't any of our first two options, but still an option nonetheless. To bring into the club so you know that's pretty good uh, Bruno Fernandez went to Manchester City for 86 million that's quite a bit of money but we have Newcastle coming it's going to be a large game considering the other two are going to be very difficult for us so hopefully we can go ahead and uh, you know get a couple points so we're gonna skip right on through this jump right on into the game let's go Amadou Gets it forward, and Amadou's rushing forward here. Amadou cuts inside, goes for goal, and he's finished it. We've taken the lead. It's 1-0. Amadou with the goal. I thought we hit that a little bit too softly, but he's just managed to get it over the leg of 
the goalie in net, probably Dubravka, but he cuts back inside here and just clips it there <laughs> over his foot. It's a decent enough finish. I was waiting for someone to open up, but yeah, just passed Dubravka there at his near post. Not great goalkeeping, but good enough for us and a 1-0 lead here on 11 minutes. One more. Steeperman. Steeperman's rushing forward here. And Steeperman, can he play this through to Pookie? It's a good ball in there. And Pookie's in on goal. And Pookie has dragged that inexplicably wide. We do pick it up in the end. How, I have no idea how he's dragged that so wide. But we go for goal that time. And it's just past the post. At the moment, on top of Newcastle. If you haven't watched our career modes, or any of my career modes before, you know that when we are in England... We tear Newcastle apart. It's like a thing we do. All our biggest wins, regardless of the team we're using in the career mode, come via Newcastle. And we'll see if we uh, have one of those on today. We started well. Almost took that away, but Almiron's on it now. to try and find space. He's done really well. And he's headed down, and oh, wow, that's fallen right to a Newcastle man, and he smashed it home. 1-1 one, one there. A bit unlucky. I believe that's Muto with the goal. I don't know. It's Ki Sung Young in midfield with the goal. It's clipped back in. Header comes down. <laughs> and he's just smashed it first time. Absurd finish. We can't react. It's 1 1. And a good start. Torn apart by their first attack. Clip forward there. Mankio's on it. Back inside. It's decent stuff. He's gotten around him. And Farman makes a really, really important save. I'm not sure how we didn't hold off Jolington there. And it's such a small space. Only needed to hold him off for half a second for the goalkeeper to come collect. Got a really, really good save. Wendia doing well. Skip by St. Maximin. And Buendia rushing into space now. And Buendia still holding on to it. Can he get into the box? He can. And taken down. And that is going to be a penalty. Is that DeAndre Yedlin? It looks like him. And normally quicker than that. But Buendia killed him there. It is Yedlin. And a massive, massive opportunity. Puki is set to take the penalty. And Pookie has it saved. That's a really good save from the goalkeeper there, to be fair. We've been getting better at putting our penalties in the corners, but now every time I put it in the corner, it's saved by the goalkeeper. Pookie cannot finish it. And it stays 1-1. A massive, massive chance. Newcastle coming forward. Can we get ahead of him? Not sure how he's... I'm getting sick of the muscling off on him. I know Jolington's got some strength, but... He is just powering through everybody. Somebody put a body on him and make him work for it at least. As he races through and finishes that. 2-1 to Newcastle. They've turned it around. And here it is. We got a touch on it. And he just keeps on going. And the center back is just, that's just poor positioning. 1-2. and two, No effort. Bloody Lovren. Who's just, and then he just smashes it past Farman. And now we're behind. It's 2-1 here. On 60 minutes. Nicely done. Lachelle's. St. Maximin holding on to it. Gets it into Jolington. And inexplicably, the center back or whoever it was has backed off him. And he gets a free shot at goal. Thankfully, Farman saves it. But my god, what are we thinking? Nicely won there. There's not too many opportunities left. We're in the 89th minute, 90th now. We come forward, we can. Back across, nicely done. Here's Buendia. And Buendia, come on, my god. Ooh, a minute to go, free kick. Changing the camera. We're not taking the free kick on goal from there. Nicely done. Here's Godfrey. Of, I'm kind of annoyed it's Godfrey of all people here. Amadou. This is the opportunity. It has to be. And he's nicked the ball away there. I'm not sure how, but he's played it on there. Mm, he cannot quite get there. He's still holding on to it. And I cannot win it. And that has happened all game with this Newcastle side. Where 
they've just gone through us almost like he did there we were holding on to it and with the tackle was one through us and in that second after the first half hour we had absolutely nothing had absolutely nothing not good Villa are beating Bournemouth which I guess is good for us Palace and Sheffield are level at zero we'll see how that actually ended down to 67 now which is nerve-wracking because we've got some tough games coming I can't believe how ineffective we were toward the end of that. I also forgot to bring Pritchard on the bench. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, who do we bring him on for? Oh, McGovern. That'll do it. Easy enough. Easy enough. It's so annoying. It's so annoying when you just in game physically can't do anything when things are happening like that. Um, I think those two drew, which means we do move into the bottom three, but we're only one point back now. Um, but we have obviously got some incredibly difficult games coming, starting with Liverpool. We got a point against United. Um, so if we can get a point against Liverpool, that'd be obviously where we want to go. But let's jump into it. Home to Liverpool, and then Wolves coming. A tough set of games. Let's go. It's clipped over. Back into space. Not where we wanted it. It's a not so great clearance. Fabinho's on it. Sit out there. Jordan Henderson clips it in. It's Fabinho. Cuts back nicely. It's good football, and Henderson scores early. Inside 10 minutes. This is going to be a long, tough game. A long, tough game. It's good football from Liverpool. The two midfielders hooking up nicely and Henderson firing Liverpool into the lead. It's a good turn there and he just thought he was going to shoot. He didn't step. He just kept his legs closed. Didn't even try and block it or anything. I hate that so much. Just put an effort in. But on nine minutes, Liverpool with the early lead. Nicely played there. Can we get it through? We can. And can we get this forward to Pookie? He's made a good run. We've got men forward here. Slips it in. Uh, can't quite get it away from Fabinho, but we do this time. And Buendia, can he cut across? He can. And it's good football. What a save. How in the world has Allison gone back across to save that? An unbelievable save to deny us on a really good counterattack. Out wide. Buendia can play it forward to Pookie. And Pookie's in here. And Pookie can get it across. Buendia! It's in the back of the net. And we're level. Had a great opportunity just now, but made no mistake. This time around, it's 1-1. Buendia with the goal. It's good football here. Pookie grabs hold of it. Just cuts back inside. Finds the right pass. And he just steps to the side of Vandenberg, who's in the back ahead of Van Dyke. What the looks of it. Cannot quite get his foot in front. Allison can't get to it. And there's 1-1. One, one. one more. Can we get it forward? We can. Can we clip this over the top? It looks like Cantwell is going to get to that. Salah chasing back, but Cantwell getting away. And he gets away from Trent as well. Can he slip it across? He can. Oh, what a block. And it's come back and it's slipped in. I'm not sure how it's beaten Allison and the defender there, but it's in the back of the net. It's Steeperman with the goal. We've taken a 2-1 lead here at home to Liverpool. A massive, massive goal. How big could that be? As Cantwell kind of didn't have any trouble getting to the byline. It's blocked. He comes at it again. And the Liverpool man, I think that's Fabinho, comes sliding into Allison. He just slides a touch early, and Allison can't get out there. Fabinho, if he slides a touch later or just misses Allison, it's a perfect storm of slight mistakes from Fabinho. And we capitalize on it. It's 2-1. Curtis Jones comes off the pitch, the youngster. And on comes Shakiri as they chase a goal. Let's come back inside nicely. Shakiri doing well here. Gets it out wide. Back to Shakiri. He slips it into Henderson. Gets to the byline there. It's come back. It's twos just like that. And Shakiri has just come on. Finds the goal. 2-2 <sighs> just like that. He didn't hold on to that lead quick enough, and now it's going to be difficult. 60 minutes gone. 
Mm, that ball, it's a lovely ball from Shakiri. It's nicely done back, and that's twice I've slid before shots have come in when they look like they're going to come in. It doesn't happen on this level very often where they hold off on shots for a second. And it's cost us. And it's 2-2 here. Max Ahrens. He played that forward. He can. And Pookie does well to hold on to it. Gets it to Steeperman. Who's scored already. And Steeperman, can he get it across to Pookie? He can! And Pookie with a tap-in at the back post. He's just gotten behind Vandenberg. And re giving us the lead here. It's 3-2. How big could this be? How big if we don't concede again? Steeperman doing well to just get out here. Make space. And then he's crossed it in. And Pookie's just gotten away from Vandenberg. Vandenberg loses him. And it's a tap-in at the back post. And it's 3-2 here. 20 minutes to go. Ooh. Vandenberg not having a good game back there for Liverpool. Almost loses it again there. That's clipped in. <gasps> no, 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 not the pass I wanted out. Oh, no, 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 no. Someone get in front of Firmino. Milner racing forward. Has to hit himself, and what a save. A massive save there from Farman. Set to come in on the short corner. It's clipped in. It's come back to Fabinho. It's blocked and cleared away. Jesus. Not long to go here. We keep giving the ball away also. That's not really helping. 30 seconds to go here. We just got to keep a hold of the ball. Or score again as Pookie beaten to it by Vandenberg, who's not had a great game. That touch is so, so bad from Lovren. Or from Lovren. A minute to go. We just got to clear this one more time as that's clipped out wide. Salah is going to get to it. And there's an opportunity here for Liverpool, but we've won it there. Just got to clear it, and that's it. Game over. What a win. What a massive, massive win we've got there over Liverpool. A 3-2 victory. How big could that be toward the end of the season? Norwich like to get up for some of these big games. And they have this time around a 3-2 victory. Bournemouth beat Sheffield as well. That's a big result for us as we get a little bit of a gap between us and Sheffield. How big could that be? We'll see where Palace are. Do we pass them up? Um, but we shall see. But a big, big win, especially after what happened there to Newcastle. Whew. That's big. That's a big old win. Where are we now? We are 17th. One point ahead of Crystal Palace. Andre Gray needs to play more. Fair enough to him. But we were just buying options. They can get upset all they like. Though it doesn't really help our manager rating. But if we want to survive, we're going to have to win games. And that helps the manager rating the most. Up to 74. And we've got Wolves next. Andre Gray hasn't he hasn't played a lot since he's come, really. Pookie is the starter. But we'll see. So here we go. We have Wolves coming here. Um, let's go take a look and see who Palace played today as well. They had a game that was winnable last time, I thought. Oh, they drew Everton. That's actually a good result. And they play Newcastle this time around, so that's probably the game I was thinking about. But let's jump into it. A big game, away to Wolves, a tough, tough team. Let's go. Oh, nicely done by Stefan there to get right by Jamal Lewis. Jamal Lewis is chasing. And Stefan doing well. Clips it back post. Farman does well. Oh, that's a poor clearance. It's 1-0 to Wolves. That took a huge deflection. Patrick Catrone, he's actually left in real life, I believe. Fires it home for Wolves. And they've taken an early 1-0 lead. Not what we want to see. And this clearance, tried to clear it here. It's... It's just nicely done by, I'm not sure who that is who blocks it. He just sticks a foot out. The clearance goes off his foot. Falls to Catrone. He fires it into the back of the net. Not what we want to see. Not the start we were looking for. And it's 1-0 here to Wolves early on. That's a bloody pen or a foul a penalty. Doherty with it. You can send him off if you'd like. Oh, wow. He has sent him off. Oh, just like that. What a start for Wolves. A goal and a red card. Oh, that's a tough tackle. A goal and a red card inside the first five minutes. And now we've got a little bit of a chance playing against ten men for the rest of the day. 
Buendia, what a turn by Buendia, gets it across, there's one more, Bardi, can he hit it, he can, it's blocked, and it's cleared away. That's a poor giveaway, they keep giving the ball away here, Wolves, and can we slip it through, we can, oh what a save that is once again, Cantwell with a really good opportunity, it's only 25 minutes into this game, there are plenty of highlights, as they keep giving the ball away, they can't get it out of their own half at the moment, it's all us. Can we win that there? Dreadful. Dreadful from Wolves. Slips it across. And the deserved goal. It's 1-1. I'm not sure what they're doing back there, but we're level here like we deserve. And they've just been holding on to it, not been able to clear it. We yank it away there and just slide it across. It's Pookie at the back end to tap it into the empty net. A massive goal in the grand scheme of things, maybe. We have an hour against 10 men. Can we grab another? Corner set to come for Wolves a couple of minutes before half time. Bit of a sucker punch should this go in. And that clearance is not exactly what I would have hoped for. They're going to get another corner. Would be devastating to concede this, especially how <laughs> we just gave it away. That gets deflected and cleared off the line. Jesus. <laughs> a huge deflection and Farman was getting nowhere near that and cleared off the line that's big it would have been devastating for that to go in but big and as you can see Palace are level with Newcastle and we are level with Wolves One more there it is Buendia can Buendia get this ball through he can Andre Gray gets onto it and Andre Gray, can he slip it across? He clips it that way. It's blocked. It's down on the floor. It's in the back of the net. I'm not sure how. It's just clipped over the goalkeeper. It's Steeperman with the goal. It's 2-1. 15 minutes gone. Or 15 minutes left. I'm not sure what's going on there. Andre Gray waits. And then he slips it across goal. And it's blocked. And then it comes to him. And I'm not sure who clips that up in the air. Steeperman blocks it from clearing. And then it comes in. And... He just goes for goal. He clips it up in the air just. It goes over the sliding Patricio. Over the sliding defender. An absurd finish. It's 2-1. And a great turnaround here. Can we hold on? The second half has been a lot more Wolves than I would have liked. Can we hold on to this? One more across. Nicely done. And can we get that through? We got to be able to get that through. Nice tackle. Let's come forward. Steeperman finds Buendia. Can we get it in? We can. Here's Steeperman. He's holding on to it. Cuts it back. There's plenty of space up here. He goes for goal. What a save. Oh, I thought we dragged him out enough to go ahead and get that on target and put it in the back of the net. What a save that is. We put it through. We can. Andre Gray loses it. Five or so minutes to go. Nicely played. Wolves. Looking for that equalizer. One more. And there's two minutes of added time to go, and we're just racing up the pitch. Here comes Max Ahrens. Can he play it through? He can. A great run from Steeperman. And Steeperman, can he slide it across? He can. Buendia, not the greatest of touches. It's cleared, and that should be that. Blow the whistle. What a massive, massive set of games we've just went through. It looked like Wolves are going to give us problems, and immediately after the goal, they have a man sent off, and we... And we take over from there. A late scruffy goal to say the least. But a massive three points. As Crystal Palace lose at home to Newcastle. And that might create a gap. In the table. And it does. A four point gap with 11 games to go. Massive. Massive. Massive result. <laughs> the way we fought back and the way we held off Liverpool I thought it was going to be one of those episodes where we get nothing after the way we started against um, getting a loss against Newcastle but we're okay we're in a good spot four points ahead of Crystal Palace and next episode some more big games we have a game against Sheffield Southampton and Leicester so some big games. A win over Sheffield could be could save us really, but we obviously have a tough end. We got Arsenal, Watford, West Ham, we got Chelsea and City to end the season. 
we still got to keep on collecting points if we're going to go ahead and keep from <laughs> going down, guys. But that's going to be the end of this episode, a massive one. I hope you folks have enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. And peace.